Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of the Otoscope Excel video blog where I try to give you real meaty tips to make you more awesome in Excel. Okay, today I'm talking about the all important VLOOKUP function. This is something that I use all the time. I like to say it's what helps you find the needle in your data haystack. It's also great for comparing lists of things, which is what I want to focus on today. I have two lists that partially overlap, and I want to know what's common to both and what's not. My example brings us to the fancy schmancy world of galas. I'm the fundraising manager for a nonprofit that throws an annual gala, and I'm looking at the event lists for our 2012 gala and our 2013 gala. What I'd like to do is assign these people into one of three groups. Group 1 are people who attended both years, and they're our most loyal supporters. Group 2 are people who only attended in 2012, so maybe they've lost interest in our organization. Group 3 are people who attended in 2013, and we want to cultivate them and turn them into lifelong donors. VLOOKUP is going to help us get there, I promise. Okay, I'm going to go back to my 2012 attendees tab and start here. I want to figure out who in 2012 came back in 2013. So I'm going to enter in a VLOOKUP formula. The first input is what I'm looking for. This is my needle, and it's a email address from 2012. The next input is the haystack. What am I going to search this needle in? And that's the list of all email addresses in 2013. The third input is the column of the table I want to return. And because we're only searching a one-column table, the list of emails in 2013, we're going to enter a one there. And for the last input, you should almost always use zero or false here. This means we want an exact match for our VLOOKUP. And our formula returns an email address. This means that it found the email in the 2013 list of attendees. So we know that this guy, Abram Westerfield, came both years. He's in our group one. Now what happens when the person did not come back in 2013? Let's drag the formula down to find out. Okay, Angle Seltzer is showing a pound NA error. This means that the formula did not find their email in the 2013 list. So they only came in 2012, and they're in my group too. So to sum up, VLOOKUP will return an email address if the person came back in 2013, and a pound NA error if they only came in 2012 and not 2013. I can drag this formula all the way down now and split these people up into two groups, uh, those who came back and those who didn't. And to actually split these people up by group, let's use our auto filters. If I want to show people who came both years, then I want to exclude all of the pound NA errors uh, from showing up. After I do that, I'm going to copy all of those email addresses and paste them into my email list tab under group 1. Now I'm going to go back and do the same thing for group 2. I'm going to go back to my auto filter and select only those people with a pound NA error. Copy those and paste them into my group 2 list. Great. I'm two-thirds of the way there. All I need to do is figure out who is in group 3. Who are the people who only came in 2013? Well, I can go into my 2013 attendees tab and do exactly the same thing that I just did in 2012. Okay, I'm going to start a new VLOOKUP formula here, and the first input is what I'm looking for, and this is the email address in column B. The second input is the haystack. This is what I'm searching against, and this time it's the list of email addresses from my 2012 attendee list. The third and fourth inputs are the same here. Uh, we want to enter column 1, for the third input and zero for the fourth input. All right, after entering that formula in, I'm going to follow the same steps I did before. I'm going to go down and copy this formula down. And then I'm going to turn on my auto filters and only show those people with a pound NA error. And that's because I just want to pull up people in group three. Those are the people who only attended in 2013. And I'm going to copy those into my email list tab and I'm done. Great. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, I'd love to see your comments and questions on the blog.